Well, from comets to the brightest full moon of the yeah, year. Yeah, really nice. Wow. October is a big month for astronomers and stargazers. Yeah, it's all, it's unfortunate in a way because the brighter the moon, the oh, harder it is to stargaze. Star. But I'll tell you, the night sky will be full of surprises this week. This rare comet. comet. See, it's hard to pronounce, <laughs> even the word comet. But yeah, the word, the name of this is hard to pronounce. <laughs> Ryan Choptaw has his eyes to the sky. This is Comet Suchinsan Atlas, or Comet Atlas for short. It's extremely rare to see. Astronomers say that this will be the first and last time we see this particular comet, and it will be visible each day through the end of October. The timing will be about 30 minutes after sunset. Look west, southwest, and above the horizon, and you'll start to notice the comet shimmering. Now, progressively through the month, the comet will appear higher and dimmer on the horizon, but still close enough to see for watchers. Because it, it, it doesn't come close to the sun as often as like Halley's Comet does, uh, all the material and stuff on the comet, the, the an abundance of organic material is being blown off into space, and that's the reason why it's so bright. Now, if you don't want to watch this comet alone, we got you covered. SALSA, the San Antonio League of Sidewalk Astronomers, will be hosting a comet watch party at McAllister Park. Be there around sunset Wednesday and be ready. There was so much interest, so we thought we'd have it at a park in a large field where uh, we could set up some telescopes and uh, invite anybody who wants to come out and see it. Also, if you're up for planet watching, you'll see a few in our solar system. Uh, Venus, uh, that's real easy. You look towards the west. We're also going to have Saturn and Neptune uh, to show everybody. So we're not just going to be showing the comet. We're going to be showing a, a mul multitude of things. So there's plenty to see. A comet that we'll never see again, several planets, and even a supermoon that will light up the night sky later this week. We have more details about this and the watch party over at Kins5.com. Ryan Shoptal, Kins5. Yeah, I love my good friends at Salsa. Yes. If, if you don't know much about astronomy and you want to learn, they're, they're a great group. They're very helpful. Bring your telescope out. They'll show you how to use it the best way. How nice. It's all free, and it happens early, too. It's not like 3 in the morning. You don't have to go out. And exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Most of the time, it's like 3 a.m. Yeah. yeah, good point.